Hi friends, hello, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Hello, welcome to Talk Tutorial Tuesday. Today, we're gonna be playing with Miss Tati Beauty. Um, this is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette. This is Tati Beauty's, it's from Glam Life Guru Tati Westbrook here on YouTube. She's like a big guru. Um, and she came out with her own beauty line. I am so happy it wasn't vitamins this time because I actually like love glitter. This is one of the most beautiful and glittery palettes I've seen in a long time. This top row is just spectacular. I've played with this palette a couple of times now before filming this, so I have a little bit of a gist of how the shades sort of perform a little bit. Um, but I, I do want to do something kind of like hyper glam and really like crazy, crazy pretty. Um, so so let's just zoom you guys in and see what we can come up with. Hello. Um, so first of all, my highlight, oh, give me glow in their porcelain peach highlighter is everything. Um, so this is the palette a little bit more up close so you guys can kind of see. Um, I do have a couple of critiques of the palette. The first is the way that she laid out the naming to be sort of a grid. I don't like that if I'm going to talk about this shade, I would say soothe metallic. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that. I, I kind of wish each one had its own name because it just feels a little weird. Like the grid vibe, I'm not a huge fan of. I do like the actual mirror itself. I don't want to blind you guys. Oh my God, look, it's you. Hi. Um, I, I do like that the mirror is massive. I think that's very, very cool. And I also love this top row of glitters. Um, I will say, I'm gonna get started on this look because I actually am crunched for time. Um, I have somebody coming to redo one of the ceilings in the house. So we're just gonna get right started. I'm gonna go in with this shade Aura Matte, this kind of white shade. And I am gonna put that on my lid just to kind of set everything down. You guys know I love a very good either matte white or a matte like cream in an eyeshadow and so this color is like everything for me it's the little things um i will say before i even put on the glitter i'm gonna warn you guys i have been seeing a lot of comments about this palette that there is no fallout from the glitters and that has not been my experience. And I've been using a glitter glue and everything, and that has just absolutely not been my experience with the palette. While the glitters are beautiful and pigmented, and you'll see in a minute how well they perform, there is definitely fallout. There's fallout throughout the day. They're glitters, um, and pressed glitters typically do have some type of fallout. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade, this orange one here, Story. Normally I would go in with Soothe in the inner corner right off the bat, but I kinda wanna do something a little bit more glam. I'm gonna really like, shape the crease of my eye with this. I think I want to do a halo eye. As you can see, the mattes perform really nicely. They're very smooth. They're very easy to blend. They're very buildable, which I like a lot because I think for a lot of people, overly hyper pigmented shadows can just be a little bit too much, even for me sometimes. And I do my makeup all the time, but even for me, like really overly pigmented shadows can often be just a touch overwhelming because they are so pigmented and hard to blend. These are very buildable, very easy to blend. It's kind of difficult, I would say, to build something up crazy, which I think is really good for the purpose of this palette, which was kind of the like everyday basic glam look. You wouldn't want a palette with these type of neutrals to have crazy intense pigment right off the bat because um, they're hard to blend out. And also you're not trying to make this like intense bright green eye look. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to blend everything together, trying to build it up. So hi, how's everyone's week going? Um, mine's been interesting <laughs> to say the least. I had a couple of really crazy um, customer service stories and I honestly just want to talk about them. I want to preface this by saying that I I am very much like a people who work in customer service don't get paid enough. Like people who work in customer service, it's such a thankless job. They work so hard. So typically my gripe is not with the person who's like I'm actually working with. My gripe is with like the business who made a policy that's stupid, that's like screwing me over. Or when in this particular in instance, when there's inconsistencies in what you're told, like that's a big pet peeve of mine. So <laughs> let's start with the first one. First one is Grubhub. Oh, I'm never using Grubhub again. Um, so I'm going to go in with Poet and I'm going to pack that with a smaller brush and I'm really going to focus more in like a padding motion you can see and I'm going to raise up my eyebrow just because my eyes are really crinkly so I like to get into those crinkles. Um, 
So I was in a horrible mood on Sunday because we had a ton of stuff to do. I was very stressed out. We were dog sitting and um, we had to come back to the house because we had people, we had Charles's family coming over the same weekend. We were dog sitting. It was an accident. It wasn't meant to be that way, but I was very stressed out because I was trying to clean everything and get everything ready for people to be over. I hadn't been home all weekend. I was also simultaneously trying to like do a video <laughs> and film a video and get content up because I hadn't had content up all week. I think I hadn't posted a video, like a real video. I did a live stream, but I hadn't posted like a video since like Tuesday. So I was panicking because it was Sunday and I'd posted nothing. And it was because of number one, my poor planning, but number two, a bunch of my videos just like either I didn't like them or footage didn't work out or like whatever. The universe was just working against me on posting a video. So I was already in a really bad mood. And so Charles was like, let's order, because we had to get up super early to be at the house. He was like, let's order something from Grubhub for breakfast. And then you don't have to leave to get breakfast. You can film your video and do what you have to do. And then I can, he was playing a game with his friends, like online. He was like, I can do that. So we ordered Grubhub. We ordered like, it was like $45 in food. Because after you do all the like taxes and stuff, it's always way more. <laughs> but we ordered all this food. We were so excited. We were like, oh my God, we're going to eat this like awesome breakfast together, like have a really nice relaxing Sunday morning. Um, and then um, after like, hmm, it was probably like an hour, he he called up to me. He was like, cause I was up here filming and he was like, where's the Grubhub? And I was like, oh, let me check on it. So I check and it's like, your order's been delivered. And I was like, no, it hasn't. And so we look outside cause we're like, did it get delivered? And we just like missed it. I'm going in with the black now, sorry. I've, I've been talking. He checks outside. We're like, did they just maybe like leave it? on our front porch, like we were so confused and then it hadn't been. And then I checked the website again and it was like, your order has been canceled. And I'm like, well, that's weird. So we, I guess apparently when we placed the order, uh, for whatever reason, it was on Charles's card, whatever reason, it just like didn't go through. And so they didn't ever like process the order, they canceled it. And I was like, well, that's weird because I got a freaking confirmation email and Charles looked at his bank account. And of course, even though it was canceled, of course they still took the money out of his account because of course they can do that, but not accept the order. Like, of course that makes perfect sense. Um, So I was pretty annoyed. So I went on, but normally I've had an issue before with Grubhub and they were really nice. Well, the first person wasn't. I guess the people are never really that nice to me actually. They just, <laughs> I think they just gave in because I was like, I want my money back. So I did the live chat feature that Grubhub offers, which is where you can basically have like a chat room session with a person from customer service. And I like that better than calling on the phone because number one, I'm not like put on a ton of holds. Like I can like still go about and do things without having to wait to be taken off of hold, like all of those things. So I like the chat room option. And normally there's not really any wait to talk to somebody in the chat room. So I got on and at first I was like confused. So I was like, why did the order get canceled? They explained it to me that they like did the card thing. And I was like, like, oh, okay, so can you release the funds for my card? And so I can like reorder <laughs> food because <laughs> we still haven't gotten our food. And I was like, can you like release the funds or whatever because you, it declined? Like, why, do, why did you take the funds out? And the girl was like, well, it's on a 24 hour hold. And I was like, but you didn't accept it. <laughs> so why is there a hold? You didn't process the order. So why did any money come out? You were never planning on sending us food. So why did you take any money out? If the card de got declined, how did you still, if it got declined, you shouldn't be able to take any money out. Like that's so confusing. And instantly this girl has an attitude. And here's the thing. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Aura, that white shade, and just kind of try to blend up. I am, again, I understand that customer service is like a thankless job. I fully get it. It, I guarantee, I, I get it. But there's no reason to be rude to people who aren't being rude to you. And that goes both ways. The customer shouldn't be rude to the person and the person shouldn't be rude to the customer, okay? I am just like, I'm like, oh, so now we're getting an attitude. That's fantastic. And I'm in a mood, like I'm not in a good mood. I I was trying to be so nice to her because I just wanted to figure out what's going on. I'm going back and forth with her and I'm like, can you just explain to me? Because I'm expecting her, this is the thing, I don't usually expect things, but if you can't automatically like refund that money that I just used <laughs> to purchase food and now I have no money to purchase food, then there needs to be something like remedied there because you just took all of my food money and now I can't get food. So I was, I was kind of annoyed. I was like, there needs to be like a solution here. And I kept being like, can you explain to me why you can't just like, cause I didn't understand why they couldn't just release the money. Like, why is there a whole, who did that? And so I'm like, she's like, and then she keeps hitting me with like, is there anything else I can do for you? Is there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> and just ignoring all my questions, being like, how else can I help you? How else can I help you? And I was like, you can help me by explaining to me 
why there's a hold on my card. Like that doesn't make any sense. People who like work in this industry is gonna be like, this is dumb. <laughs> You're gonna think I'm so dumb for not understanding that, but like I didn't understand how you could decline simultaneously decline a card and also take money out. Like it didn't make any sense. And so she was like, I'm just putting a little bit of Kaylin glitter glue on the center of my eye because we're about to get glittery. The girl was like, if you want, you can call your bank and they can explain to you what a 24 hour hold is just so you can get some peace of mind. That's exactly how she worded it. And I was like, oh no. So I, I'm like, can I speak to your manager? <laughs> Because I am that woman like I am that person. And I was like, can I speak to your manager? And I literally wrote I was and I never do this But I was so mad because she was being so rude and just like wouldn't take the time to properly explain anything to me or help me And I was like you are being incredibly rude and she was like no problem So I get forwarded to the manager and immediately the manager was oh, I'm going in with this This is the poet glitter shade this really pretty pink And so the manager is like give me a moment to like look over this conversation. And I'm like, okay I'm like but that person person was incredibly rude to me and now I'm mad like now not only have you taken my money but you've had someone over chat be mean to me like I'm not happy and he was like okay okay and of course because it's my my uh, Grubhub account is linked to my Google account which is this YouTube channel so he kept calling me Smokey because my name on there was Smokey Glow and I was like subscribe to my YouTube channel um so I was like so, so, so annoyed. You know what I mean about the fallout? How there's just a little bit when you're applying it, especially. And I'm using like not a super crazy amount, but it is very buildable glitter, which I like. He then sends me this message being like, you've been banned from Grubhub because all of it, like you've been banned from Grubhub because you did inappropriate behavior that broke our rules in terms of service. And I'm just like, what? And so I message and I'm like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? And then he's like, sorry, Smokey, that wasn't meant for you. I'm chatting with two different people. So now I'm just confused. I'm just like, what is going Going on like what is happening so I'm all confused and then he finally responds to me and he just says the same thing that this woman says and I'm like okay I'm like but what is the remedy here I was like like could I get a credit for Grubhub like could I get a Grubhub credit so I can at least place my order and here's the thing too I don't feel bad about taking credit and things from large corporations they have the money like you have that I know you have the money to like give me a credit to make up for the fact that I can't get my food anymore unless you give me that credit I could I just did it was it's the principle of the thing and it was also Charles's money And so I feel extra bad like I'm really fighting because it was his money and I feel horrible And they're like, oh, well the hold will be off in like 24 hours And I'm like 24 hours doesn't sound like I could get my food today So <laughs> what are you gonna do here? And so finally he's like he's like, okay, okay I'll give you a credit and I was like, thank you and I was like also because I'm, I'm petty now I was like also can I please have the number or email for your higher up customer service team because I would like to make a formal complaint about the person I was talking about before. I probably wouldn't have done that because I don't have, I don't really have time to like formally complain. I'm realizing now how petty I sound, but I was so mad. And so I was like, I'm going to go in with Poet Metallic. I was like, can I please just talk to somebody who like, just with my finger and like put, blending it in there. Yeah. So I was like, can you just explain, like, I just want to, like, tell them, like, this person was really rude to me, and it made my experience with Grubhub not great. And in this time, I also had tweeted about it, <laughs> and you guys were tweeting me your horrible Grubhub experiences. So I was like, oh, okay, this isn't just a me problem. It's like an issue. So I was like, can you give me that number? He's like, no, I'm the person in charge. I'll deal with it. And I was like, that's not what I asked. I was like, I don't, I don't need you to deal with it. I want to talk to somebody else who can deal with it. And he was like, today, I am the highest person that you can talk to, like the high, the highest management which is a lie. I know how companies work. Are you the CEO of Grubhub? If not, <laughs> then I don't want to hear it. He's trying to get me to not make a complaint, I think, because it would look bad on him if, like, I complained. But at the same time, like, don't, your employee was rude. Like, they were incredibly rude. They were incredibly snarky. You shouldn't, like, talk to people like that who are being nice to you. I wasn't being rude. That's the part that kills me. Like, I, I fully support employees, like, clapping back at rude customers, but I, like, legitimately wasn't being rude. Um, and so I'm gonna go in with Poet on the the lower lash line and so I'm like please just give me the number I will I will inform the person myself I don't need you to inform them for me like no no and then he's like okay I applied a $20 credit <laughs> to your Grubhub account and I was like sir I'm not trying to be rude but I told you that I wanted a credit so I could reorder the food which you know was $44 or $45 or whatever it was I was like so that's not acceptable like I'm not ex I'm sorry like I'm over it at this point because now he's not giving me the number he's not allowing me to like do anything he's just being annoying so I was like no that's unacceptable and he was like fine fine and at this point I'm crying because whenever <laughs> Charles was like why are you crying I was like because I'm on my period and I'm upset and like at this point I'm just crying and I'm because I can't handle conflicts like that without crying like I always end up crying 
When people are rude to me, I just literally start crying. I can't help it. I'm gonna wipe away some of that fallout. So then he was like, fine, as a special one-time offer, like a special one-time thing for you, I'll add an, an extra 25 so your whole order's covered. And I was like, I was like, that is not a one-time like special thing you should be doing. That is literally the bare minimum of what you can do to help your pe help people who are dealing with this situation. Like if you didn't take the money out in the first place, there would be no issue here, like none. And I actually did follow up with my bank and then Will Charles as I called them and I asked if it was them who took the money out and put it on holds and they were like, no, that's Grubhub, they have it on hold. And I was like, that's what I thought. Um, Cause I was mad. So he did end up giving it to me and then as soon as I got the credit, I was just like, you know what? Cause I kept asking for like the way to contact someone else and he just wasn't gonna give it to me. And I was like, you know what? I already tweeted about this. I've aired my grievances on the internet, which makes me feel better. And I was like, I am just done for the day. So I just signed off the chat and I do have a $45 credit and it took two days, but the money was put back in the account after the hold. So I guess it didn't end bad. That's the thing about me though with customer service is like, especially with big corporations, like if I feel like I've been wrong, we're gonna write that wrong. <laughs> like I, I know some people feel like too like timid to advocate for themselves in those situations, but like not I. And I think I'm gonna tell the other story about my other experience, which was like a thousand times worse, thousand times more stressful. I'm gonna tell that story during Glomus. I kind of thought of an idea of doing like a knit with me talking about the worst customer service experiences I've ever had because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> um, so if you guys want that story time, let me know. Basically just me being a petty person who has first world problems for like 25 minutes, but I think it could be kind of fun. What do you think? I love how I needed to do this quickly because somebody's coming to my house and I'm just like yapping. My new favorite thing to do has been because the Marc Jacobs gel liner is a cream. As soon as I put it on, I take just a little brush. I just kind of smudge it out a little bit especially for looks like this that are a little bit more smoky and like glam and it just kind of gives it a little bit more of a smoky vibe a smoky glow vibe oh my god i love this this is my favorite look i've done so far with this i'm so happy this turned out so pretty you guys like it let's do a mandatory narcissistic montage and then we'll end okay <laughs> I like this palette. I don't know if I would say it's 100% worth the price point. And the only reason I say that is because I don't particularly like these like sequin shades that are just kind of like matte with glitters in them. It's a very, this whole row right here is kind of a weird formula. They're not sparkly enough and bright enough to be shimmers, but they're not matte enough to be matte. So I would kind of describe them as a row of satins, which while they do serve a purpose are not my favorite thing in the world. I kind of wish this had just been another row of mattes, even though I get what they were doing here with like this whole thing. These glitters are beautiful. They remind me a lot of the Midas Cosmetics glitters in the sense that they have in the ColourPop ones, in the sense that they have a little bit more of like self-adhesive to them. They're not just strictly pull it out and it's glitter. There's a little bit of squish to them and a little bit of adhesive in there that does make it easier to put them on the eyes, which I appreciate. The mattes blend beautifully. Um, the metallics could be brighter, in my opinion. I think they could have been better, but the sparkly row and the matte row are definitely where this palette shines for me. So for that reason, I don't think I would recommend it at its current price point, even though I do like it and I'll probably get a decent amount of use out of this. I just don't think it's worth how much money I spent on it. Cause I think I spent like $50 on this maybe more after shipping, which is a lot. That's a lot for a palette that's pretty basic. It would have to really like kill it in all aspects and it definitely doesn't. But if you love glitter, this is really pretty. <laughs> I do love the glitters and the mattes perform really well too. So it's up to you. I don't think it's a must, but I think it's nice. I created a really pretty look with it and I've created multiple really pretty looks with it. Um, I just think it's like mm, meh. You know what I mean? Anyway, that's it for me. I love you guys so much. If you like this video, please like and subscribe or just like or just subscribe or do neither. Honestly, just so happy you're watching me. Thank you so much for being here. My merch, my social media, and everything I'm wearing on my face will be linked down below. Oh, how fast did I just say that? Along with a link to register to vote. That's right. You can go click that link. You can register to vote and you can take part in democracy. Oh yeah. Um, also, if you're not from the United States and that link does not apply to you, please make sure you're staying informed on what's going on in your part of the world. Make sure you're staying involved, using your voice in a positive way. The world absolutely needs more of that. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.